Hey everyone, my name is Vlad. I'm a product designer at Miro. And I want to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to draw in Miro and specifically how to make your presentations a bit more interesting. So me personally, I love drawing and doodling uh, in Miro and specifically in my presentations. Uh, it serves several purposes. First purpose is when I want to highlight something on the slide, like here or here, when I just want to, you know, bring attention to some specific words or phrases, it's really easy when I just doodle on the slide. And also it helps me illustrating some specific things like uh, our user stories. When I, let's say, have a persona uh, through which I'm illustrating specific user stories in my project or a feature I'm talking about, it's much you know, more entertaining for the audience and more engaging when I'm showing little characters talking to each other or getting into specific situations. And um, why I love this, first of all, because it's not boring. It's much more entertaining for the audience, as I mentioned. It also attention grabbing, it's emotional, it adds a personal touch to it. It makes it unique because every time you present something, everyone knows, oh yeah, that's probably the last presentation or uh, his, team's, uh, his team's presentation. Or, or something related to their project. Um, it also helps a lot with storytelling that you can navigate um, audience attention or you can uh, basically illustrate a story with drawings. Uh, and it just makes it more memorable. But whenever I talk to my colleagues, they, talk, they tell me, oh yeah, I really, I really love that style of presentations, but I wish I did, I had skills to do that. And I also wish I, I don't have uh, a specific, you know, tool or drawing tablet or whatever, but actually I'm not a, that of a good, good drawer or, uh, or an artist, if, if, <laughs> if you, if I may say that. Um, and I also don't have any, I had any devices. I just use these two things, my three fingers and a trackpad of my laptop. And that's it. That's probably what you also need to start drawing in your presentations, but let me explain how you can uh, enable it for yourself. So first of all, and first and foremost, I would say is enabling three fingers drag. Um, by the default, uh, in order to draw something in Miro, you have to really click on a trackpad and then move your finger while applying pressure. And it creates a lot of tension, first of all, between your finger and the uh, trackpad. And um, uh, your hand might get tired really quickly when you're doing a lot of these doodling and drawings. And in order to avoid that, there's a pretty, pretty easy setting you can change. So you go to accessibility settings, picking a dragging style chapter here, and you click on trackpad options. And in trackpad options menu, you see this dragging style drop down and you pick three fingers drag. So if you enable it, in order to adjust to draw a line, you just need to lightly put your three fingers on a trackpad and just start moving it. And if you practice enough with it, it will feel almost like a drawing with a pen or a pencil. It's just a question of, you know, patience and practice. So that's step one. Um, step two is doing this. I call it uh, superimposed lines, which is basically putting uh, straight lines on the board, vertical or uh, horizontal. And you just start basically tracing them with a pen tool. You start drawing again and again and again. You start really small or uh, start really slow by ac trying to accurately repeat the same line you see uh, uh, on the background, gradually getting faster and faster and faster, getting gaining more confidence in your movements. So once you get comfort comfortable with, uh, you will start drawing really quick, really like a brave lines, and it will always look better than the lines that are super, you know, straight, but you can feel that it's just like wiggling a bit and it feels like you're not really sure in what you're, what you're doing there. So I try to always optimize for speed, but start really slowly. So you can start with simple lines here, uh, repeating them all over uh, again and again and again. You can go a bit, you know, more complicated. So start dra drawing like a zigzag lines and gradually going into more complex uh, exercises like drawing circles, ellipses, squares, just try to repeat it. And once you feel, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting close to the, uh, to the shape on the background, you can start, you know, building speed. Uh, if you're, you know, adventurous, 
you can write several words on the board and just start you know tracing them again all those exercises are dedicated to one single reason to build confidence and make your hands steady uh one little tip when it will come to coloring your drawings if you if you want to so once you're done with a line drawing uh and if you want to like a, a fill, fill it with a color you can basically pick a different color and just you know roughly paint it or draw on top of your line drawing and then select it and either use function plus up or function plus down hotkey or just in three dots menu uh, select bring to front on send to back and that will basically bring uh will fill your line drawing by bringing the color on the background uh, but we'll come to this later so when it will come to drawing characters it actually again pre pretty easy and straightforward so once you're confident with straight lines or drawing uh, curves you can find some inspiration on the internet by googling you know cartoon characters simplistic or whatever again try to trace them try to repeat the same lines the same outlines and gradually you know either steal it or make up your own character like this so it's pretty simple it's just like you know oval for a head couple of uh, shapes for ears neck and uh, a turtleneck sweater uh that's pretty simple but it gives you a lot of versatility by adding just several elements that will basically create several emotions for this character so basically you can use this as a template and then just add a couple elements to change its appearance so here it's surprised it's smiling it's you know angry here it's laughing but i'm just you know changing eyebrows and mouth shape that's it i'm basically using the same principle for all my presentations it's really effective it's really like really fast i don't have to come up with every, with the character every single time i'm just copy paste it and add a couple of lines or shapes and that's pretty much it uh, and you don't need any drawing skills. You just need to draw curves and lines. That's it. Copy, steal it. No one will, uh, no one will care, honestly. And a couple more tips. Uh, first tip is to use hotkey P for pen tool. If you didn't didn't know about this, it's you know, it makes your life a bit more easier. So you don't have to reach to the left toolbar. You can always just click one one. Uh, one button on your keyboard and immediately switch to drawing uh, also uh, when you're drawing an image or illustration try to use the same thickness in a single image because when you try to combine them it feels a bit you know dirty and strange there's something about it that is off so try to avoid this or if you did this try to select all the drawings on the board and try to change uh, the thickness parameter for them all at once and third um tip is try to complement if you're doing it for slides try to complement whatever information you have on a slide but not overwhelm it with drawings because your the goal of any presentation is to convey the idea and if the idea is not you know contained solely in your illustration try to be subtle with it so not don't try to you know attract all the attention to those illustrations um yeah that's that's or more of a recommendations than rules so that should be you know pretty enough to get you started and get started just adding nice little you know work in progress feeling to your slides uh yeah and making it a bit more fun that's it hopefully it was fun and you know interesting um thank you for your attention bye